What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. Another talking head video, but I'm trying to work these more into my content. Um, you know, things happen in my life or just to people that are in my life. And I think it just creates a lot of different thoughts and ideas. And I just want to find a way to kind of express that regularly. Yeah, so that's why we're here. But uh, today's video actually is gonna, I just want to talk about change. And it's kind of funny how this whole topic started in my head. I switched up my programming again for working out. And so you're like, ah, oh, it's something like working out. It's kind of superficial, but you know, I, I had this plan, right? I wanted to do my powerlifting training alongside my bodybuilding. And it just, I wasn't progressing that well in either, you know, I, everyone always says it's hard to do both. And I think it is, but I wanted to just give it a try, give it my honest effort. And that's what I did. And it just didn't work, unfortunately, at least not the way I wanted it to. So I'm switching my training back up, focusing on bodybuilding type deal for now because that's what I want to compete in and do first. And then I'll switch over to powerlifting. But the idea that kind of sparked in my head is that, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in a plan we create, you know, setting this, it's going to be A, then B, then C. And it's got to be that way in order for it to be perfect. But that's not how life works. And that's, that's hardly how it ever goes. Um, you got to be able to adapt. You got to be able to change. Uh, you got to be able to start a plan and just be willing to say this plan won't work. And I think, at least for me and my experience in my life for many years, I just struggled with that. You know, it's, it's a bit of a pride thing where, you know, we think to ourselves, I, I told so many people it's going to go this way and it, it has to go this way. Otherwise I look like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you have to put your pride aside. You have to put your ego aside and just be willing to do what's best for you. Because obviously we all make plans that have the best intentions. And sometimes it's just those plans will never work out that way. And it's okay as long as you learn something and as long as you're willing to adapt and just change for the better and look out for yourself or the people around you, I think that's okay. So that's kind of just, I, it's so funny how it sparked from working out, but it's just, I think something I've grown to learn over the years and I just change is okay. Like change is inevitable. I think the one constant in life is that things will always change and like plans will always have to change. And, it's not a poor reflection to change your plan. Like I think the best qualities in people is when you can make a plan, realize it's not working and adjust on the fly really quick, or, you know, take your time and make that adjustment. It's okay. Yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to, to kind of share that thought, you know, it's been on my heart. It's been on my mind. Um, you know, we're so quick to make our own plans and kind of don't think about like God's plan for our life as well too. And sometimes it's a very common phrase now, but you hear the, the saying, uh, sometimes God will wreck your plans before those plans wreck you. And when, one of the first times I heard that, it just really hit me deep. And I just think it's so true. And there's been so many times where I've had plans, whether it's like relationships or career path and things like that. Like even this whole thing with Florida, I never really expected to be traveling back and forth and doing it for a year and about to live in four different places within one year. I, I never expected that. That was never a part of my plan, but it became my plan, you know, and you just, you have to learn to adapt quick and try to make the most of it, which is what I've tried to take away from everything in this past year is no matter what the circumstances, no matter how your plan may have changed, like try to enjoy it. You know, sometimes these things that happen in our lives are super inevitable and it, you can look at it and just think, man, this sucks. And I wish it wasn't going this way. But at the end of the day, like it's just going to make what you're going through that much worse. So I think if you can learn to change your plans very quickly, change your mindset, change your approach, um, it's just going to help you live a happier life. And that's something that I think I've really been focusing on and that God's been growing in me that, that ability, uh, <laughs> that ability to change and that willingness to change. Just wanted to share that message just with you guys that even though sometimes it's scary to admit your plan failed, it's even better though to change that plan, to do it for what's going to make you successful. And you know, it's okay to admit like changing a plan doesn't mean you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like so many times, so many people make plans thinking it's going to be the perfect way this way. But then once you start executing, you're like, yep, that this is bad, <laughs> which is what happened with me. And that's okay. And making a change is important. And, being willing to change is important. I just wanted to share that and like talk about how you kind of like failed. Like this kind of happened in my testimony video as well too, where, you know, I had made the plan to go be pre-pharmacy and do all these different things. And 
it just wasn't in the cards for me, you know? And I'm really glad I was willing to admit that and not struggle as much and change, and I'm, I'm much happier for it. So that's my little word of encouragement this week. Just change is okay. Be willing to change. Making a change to a plan doesn't mean you're a failure. And that was, that was pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful in some way. If you have any thoughts or advice on change yourself, drop it down below. I'd love to hear it. I love hearing everybody else's perspective as well. Thank you so much for watching. Drop that like, leave the comment, like I said. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those post notifications and send the video to a friend. We got Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday vlogs and the podcast on Monday. You don't wanna miss any of it. But most importantly, don't forget to have a great day or night. Don't forget to keep God number one. God bless.